Hello and full person, this is Anton, and today we're going to be starting with this. The image of what we're actually talking about, because by itself this is the definition of clickbait. And except that this is a real image taken by the scientists a few years ago. And you can learn a little bit more about this in the article from 2020, where essentially the scientists talk about the discovery of this very distant galaxy, SPT0418-47, seen as this circular feature. And you might have already guessed that this is actually an Einstein ring. A phenomenon of gravitational lensing that usually happens when there is a really massive object aligned with something else behind it in a very specific way where it actually produces an almost perfect circle. A circle like this. But in this case it then becomes possible to kind of create a reconstructed object by trying to figure out where all of this light came from. And following this reconstruction the scientists discovered something somewhat unusual about this galaxy. Well first of all it's kind of far away. It seems to have existed when the universe was only 1.4 billion years old, but second of all, it seems to contain a lot of Milky Way-like features. So basically features expected from a galaxy that's much older, and features from a galaxy containing some kind of a galactic disk. And so despite the image being really cool, even the discovery itself was very very unusual and extremely exciting. But this is of course back in 2020, and actually originally discovered using the Chile's ALMA telescope, which observed it in the microwave frequencies. So in essence, this is just showing us the gas within the galaxy, not really the stars and not the interaction between the gas either. But now the same object was observed by the iconic James Webb, and the scientists discovered something else that was even more surprising. Something that was previously unseen by other telescopes and something that could only be detected with infrared observations. There seemed to be something else right next to it and it also seemed to be extremely unusual in terms of chemical composition and even in terms of the evolutionary stage and activity. Presenting yet another mystery coming from the James Webb that at the moment has no good resolution and possibly once again one of the bigger mysteries out there. But here it's also important to understand what we already discovered from some of the previous studies about this unusual object. And specifically it was when the shape itself was reconstructed and when the scientists were able to measure minute deviations in redshifts and blue shifts. The first discovery here was that, strangely enough, this galaxy was not particularly chaotic. As in, it didn't really have a lot of material moving really fast around, and it seemed to be much calmer as if it was already quite developed. The redshift observations have also discovered that there is definitely some kind of a galactic disk. There was even a very large concentration of stars packed extremely tightly near the galactic center which would be the first time ever that the galactic bulge in any other distant galaxy was definitively confirmed. All of these features usually indicate that the galaxy has already been developed quite well, and normally this is kind of something we expect from the galaxies very close to us, such as the Andromeda or even the Milky Way itself. And so the fact that this galaxy was already quite calm and quite well developed 1.4 billion years after the formation of the universe was a little bit unusual. Not impossible, just very strange. But because none of this involved any chemical observations, and even the mass and the size of the galaxy was unknown, back then none of this was too surprising. It was, like I said, unusual, strange, but not super surprising. With all this sort of changing, once the James Webb Space Telescope was able to observe this galaxy as well. And by the way, it very likely does not look like this, this is just a simulation. And after a few months of analysis, the scientists were able to finally reveal their findings in the paper you can find in the description. In a nutshell, here is the main finding. This galaxy has a partner, a somewhat difficult to see partner that's invisible in this image. But the partner that becomes a little bit more obvious once you observe this with the infrared frequencies. There seems to be a smaller companion galaxy that was previously hidden behind the light of the galaxy creating the Einstein ring. It's approximately 16 times fainter than the bigger galaxy, but seems to be without 16,000 light years away from the center of the bigger partner. Implying, of course, that this is an example of interacting, very likely colliding galaxies. But in this case, a much bigger galaxy with a much smaller one. Possibly producing very similar effects to what we see around us in galaxies that usually have very long tidal tails and galaxies like the tadpole that you see right here. This is very often caused by a smaller partner. But the actual surprise came from the chemical analysis. Turns out that this smaller partner galaxy, that once again as a reminder is supposed to be really old, had an extremely high amount of relatively heavy elements. In other words, it was very high in metallicity and was very enriched in various chemicals. With the overall metallicity being extremely similar to our sun, which is very high in metallicity. Implying that this particular galaxy was actually a host to a lot of very old stars, multiple generation stars, 
that very likely were created as a result of many different supernova happening in a surprisingly short period of time, in reaching all of these stars in possibly just 1 billion years. Something that would take a galaxy like the Milky Way at least 13 billion years. And just to confirm that this was actually coming from a partner galaxy, the scientists in this case compared the redshifts detected from several different signals, confirming that two different sources in the image were definitely at the same distance, located at a redshift of about 4, so when the universe was 1.4 billion years old, confirming the existence of not just hydrogen, but also nitrogen, sulfur, and ionized carbon in relatively large amounts, similar to a much, much older galaxy. But also suggesting that this is probably just two galaxies inside a much more massive halo of a very large cluster. Possibly galaxies interacting and colliding, but with what seems to be extreme frequency and extreme efficiency. Dramatically enriching the galaxy's metallicity and somehow allowing it to be very similar to our Sun, a star that formed at least 8 billion years after. And somehow in this galaxy that's only 1.4 billion years old, we already have very similar composition and very similar metallicity. And though it doesn't really break all of the theories of star formation and galaxy formation, it definitely adds a major constraint. A major problem for modern cosmology that's not going to be very easy to solve. But definitely not the first problem coming out of James Webb in the last few months. And quite a few videos in the description below tackle some of these problems in more detail. And based on what we know about our Sun and how the Sun acquired its metallicity levels, today the modern theories suggest that it probably involved at least 40 separate supernova with the material recycled over and over and over again before it became enriched enough to form the gas filled with materials that were not just hydrogen and helium and filled with a lot of other stuff that would eventually result in more complex chemicals and even allowing objects like planets to eventually form. Especially terrestrial planets, which are predominantly very very high metallicity and contain a lot of stuff that's not hydrogen and helium. But in this galaxy that's only 1.4 billion years old, it would just be very difficult to explain why so many supernova would happen here as well, enriching everything to the same degree. But obviously there are at least a couple of possible explanations that come to mind right away. One of them is from a very recent discovery that should be in the description of a very very unusual object that was recently discovered that essentially contains some kind of a very massive black hole covered by extreme amount of gas with a ridiculous amount of activity. A galaxy that's basically evolving super 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 fast. This object was only seen completely by accident and is actually only visible in very certain frequencies using microwaves, invisible in every other frequency. And it seems to be able to explain at least the existence of some of these very well developed galaxies and kind of points at our misunderstanding of galactic evolution. It looks like early on, a lot of early galaxies just evolved very differently from what we believe and from what we've been able to simulate or from what the scientists can even see around us. So this is maybe one explanation. And the other explanation is of course, well, we're looking at the gravitational ring here, which means that there's still a chance that maybe some of these observations may have potentially been misinterpreted at least to some extent. Especially because in this case, the shape of the galaxy had to be reconstructed and we're talking about objects at really super far away distances. And so for all we know, maybe there were some detections coming from certain regions of this galaxy, showing us that those elements already existed, but because the image itself is very stretched and quite deformed, we're just seeing a kind of a bias here that sort of shows us that there is a lot of metallicity, but in reality we could be just looking at one chunk of the galaxy, like for example some kind of a global cluster that just happens to be very high in metallicity, whereas everything else is not. So once again, it could be some kind of an observational error. Nevertheless, it's still a really exciting discovery and also a really beautiful picture that I'm really hoping to come back to in some of the future videos, because this is a pretty interesting mystery and something that at the moment does not really have a very good explanation. Okay, maybe one explanation. Maybe the current understanding of galactic evolution and the formation of stars in these galaxies is just very primitive and when the scientists try to simulate this using supercomputers, it always just lacks something really important that we don't really realize. In other words, maybe the computer simulations are just not the best way to try to explain what actually happened in the early universe. And it's really the objects like this that was just discovered a few months ago that might help us answer all these questions much better. But at least for now it's going to remain a mystery. And a really exciting discovery coming out of James Webb once again. And so until future studies and future discoveries, thank you for watching, subscribe, share this with someone who loves learning about space and sciences, come back tomorrow to learn something else, and maybe support this channel on Patreon by joining the channel membership or by buying a wonderful personal t-shirt featuring James Webb Space Telescope in the description below.
Stay wonderful. I'll see you tomorrow. And as always, bye-bye.